everybody. Welcome back to the Fox Chamber in another edition. Oh, same fan rise. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Fox Chamber. Um, this video is uh, going to be about Red Fox and, of course, the SR Performance shocks. Because um not happy with them. They make the car look amazing. Don't get me wrong. The car looks freaking amazing. But there's a little bit more to it than just the car looking amazing. And you don't have to adjust your uh, color. Yes, I'm not wearing a black shirt or a black hat. Yes. But anyway, I want to talk to you about the SR Performance shocks. As you can see, and please overlook the dirty, the dirty car. It is dirty. It's been raining here. And I've been, I've been driving it to work and it's been raining. So it's going to be a little dirty. But look at the, the stance. Stance is off the chain. Love the stance. I mean, it looks great. Love it. It's sitting right where I want it to sit. Fender the wheel gap. You know, I'm always talking about that. Looks great. Down the side. Check it out. Chest looks awesome. Love the look of it. Love the look. But these SR Performance shocks or uh, this SR Performance coilover kit kind of sucks. And it's my fault. It's my fault. The thing is, I, and I always check this, the thing I didn't check was the spring rate. Yeah. Didn't check the spring rate. I'm always looking at the spring rates, blah, blah, blah. But when I bought this thing, oh, the kit, the spring rate, I, I guess I just overlooked it. I was so excited about it being a decent price that I just overlooked it. And the spring rate for these uh, SR Performance Colover Kit is hold your seats, get <laughs> brace yourself, it's 448 for the front and the, the back ain't much better. But yeah, 448 spring rate. And of course, you know, we need something around 250-ish, something give or take a little bit. So this thing rides like a wagon. So I talked to John, uh, you know, John Brooks, he owns Dale at um, Ford Takeover. And I was wondering if his shocks were like that. And he said, no, his is a lot better. But he wanted me to look into buying some more springs for the coilovers. And I did that. What we're going to do when we get back home is change. I got the ones for the front. I didn't get the ones for the back. I'm still trying to find ones for the back. But I did get ones for the front. And we're going to look at those when I get home, when I get back to the house. I just wanted to bring the car out, give you a nice look at it with the uh, coilovers that are on there. The SR Performance coilovers and how the stance looks. Stance looks great, but rides like a wagon. If you hit a bump, you're gonna feel it in your spinal cord. But yes, love how it looks. Looks great. But yes, 448 spring rate for the front. Way too heavy. Now, if I had a dump truck or something like that, these coilovers would be great for. But since I'm not d driving a dump truck, um, we're gonna have to do something about that. And um, I'll show you right when I get home. So let's get to the house. Yes, that's where I got the springs from, Summit. And I think these came out of Atlanta. Um, but anyhow, those, oh, look, matter of fact, let me do an unboxing so you can see what I got. Yes, I did open it already, just to make sure everything was in there. I knew I wasn't going to open it up that exact same day. A new coilover spring. And a good thing about working out here in the garage now, wife had bought me a TV for the birthday, and I could have watched college football while I'm out here in the garage working on Red Fox and the other one. Yeah, I don't think I really have a name for the white one. I just call it the uh, the Fox. But anyhow. Yep, these, these springs. 
and the you can see right there there's a spring rate right there 220 literally half of what's on there now the ones that's on there is 448 and these are 220 so that should be a definite improvement on ride quality as in the stiffness and harshness of the ride but you can see got red fox sitting inside all ready to go the only thing i got to do now is jack it up start snatching this thing loose and put the new springs on there and i'll probably get to doing that shortly but uh i'll get back with you in a few All right, got the wheel off and yeah y'all remember these are the ones that i had cleaned up because they're the original they were, they were the ones that i bought for the the white fox and yeah i think some drill and slider will look better on there but uh as you can see the cobra style brakes they don't <laughs> cover the entire uh the entire rotor but the Brembo's do, they cover, they cover probably way down to right about there. But anyhow, these will do for right now. It's gotta take the, uh, gotta take the caliper off, then pull this back so we can access the coilover. All right, you see I got the driver's side strut uh, coil over or whatever out. And I tried to do it without taking everything completely loose. Like um, as aggravating as this thing is to line up those bolt holes, I went ahead and leaned, just took out the top bolts, leaned it back, and then, you know, kind of got everything out the way and took out the hardware for the for the struts because they're right there really easy accessible and dropped it out I, I did loosen loosen this up a little bit take some of the tension off and that made it a little bit easier to get out but as you can see the one that i got from summit it's the same size because that's what um john brooks wanted me to make sure i had it's the same size but you could tell just looking at it that the one I got is a little bit thinner. The coils are just a little bit thinner than the other ones. And of course that makes it a little bit stiffer if they're thicker like the uh, white one there. So this right here should be what I'm looking for. So what we got to do is, is take this top portion off. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think so. Well, let me, let me set up the mold out. Well, I'll just take it off like that. Yeah, that's everything. All right. That's the top part that goes inside of the, the spring. And they are the same size. So that shouldn't be an issue. Cause that's just gonna drop right onto that and put all this stuff right here back together I need to get my head gear set up so I can wear this on my head instead but anyhow There's the new setup right there. Let me stick this on there right quick. All right, there you go. There's this new setup. Yeah, it looks just as good. You know, like I said, of course, that's a little thinner, which is gonna give it a little bit, um, a little bit softer ride. 
All right, let me get this thing ready to make sure I got everything like I need it and get ready to put this thing back together. All right, I got it in. Yeah, I didn't show it. Show me putting it all back in, but it comes in and out the same way. And if you want to see how it goes in to begin with, it's in another video. So I'm just doing this right here to see how basically the ride uh, feel changes and adjust them accordingly until I get the height, uh, get the ride height that I want, get it back anyway. But uh, I'll get back with you after I do the other side, then we'll see what we got. But it's it's probably gonna be tomorrow because it's dark outside right now. So um, I'm about to go get something to eat and I'm gonna finish this thing right here up tomorrow. But for y'all, I'm gonna be right back shortly. All right, it's actually like um, the next day. Um, everything's back together. I done took it for a ride and it feels great. Well, I say it's great. I say it feels better. <laughs> great is just stock ride, but it feels a lot better. It's not as, as harsh as it, as it was. It pretty much rides like the, uh, like the White Fox that I got. So that's a lot better because this thing right here was harsh, very, very harsh. Now I went and got the stance and everything dialed in. She's ready to go. Man, uh, let's take a look. Yep. Got it dialed in. Everything looks good. Stance is great. The other side looks just as good. Here's the other side. That looks good to me. I'm happy with it. So, uh, more likely I'll be taking this one to Mustang Week. Like I was saying, I'm going for the first time and um, I still, and I was kind of contemplating not even taking a Mustang, just going up there, feeling how everything is, but I know I'm gonna regret not taking a Mustang if I uh, don't take it. So I will be taking Red Fox to Mustang Week. Um, I'll probably be going up there on Tuesday, getting on there, getting up there after in the afternoon on Tuesday. So um, I got that plan. So yeah, Red Fox is ready to go. Take a peek at it from over here. Yeah, it's all ready to go. Got the stance and everything good, like I was saying. Basically, all in all, whenever you get coilovers, don't do like I did and forget to check the spring rate. Don't do that. That's a big part of how your car rides. And you definitely want a softer spring rate. And like I was saying, the ones on the front right here are 220, and the ones that were on there are 448. So I'm basically cutting it in half. And actually, possibly later, I might even drop it down um, maybe about another 50 or 70 or so, maybe get about a 150 to see how they ride. But as of right now, I'm gonna rock these for a little bit. I gotta do the rear still. So uh, that'll probably be in another video somewhere down the line, or maybe not, I don't know. It might be something y'all wanna see, but it'll be there. But anyway, um, I think that's about all for this video. Uh, yeah, just mainly check your spring rate on your coilovers. Big, big deal. It is a big deal. So till I see y'all again, or at Mustang Week, if y'all show up to Mustang Week, cause I'm going, taking Red Fox. And I'll see y'all later. Peace. Thank you. And good night, 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 and good night.